Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, 5th day of April, 9th day of Nisan. Here we go. So Sunday night, it's going to be the search for chametz. And I want to set, probably said this last year, but I want to set some of the rules straight for how that search is going to work. You know that the custom is to put out 10 pieces of bread. Then we make a bracha at the beginning of the search. And we search, and we hopefully find the 10 pieces of bread, and we put them away, and then we will burn them with whatever other chametz we have on Monday morning. You probably know where I'm going with this. It's a classic thing that all rabbis have to tell people, which is, when you do the search for chametz, and you find those 10 pieces of bread that you hid around the house, hopefully, don't make the search just about finding those 10 pieces of bread. Really, you're supposed to be searching your entire house. It's a custom, a nice custom, to put out 10 pieces of bread for you to find, and you find them, and you burn them on Monday morning. But the search is not about just going straight to those 10 pieces. You really have to begin, and like plan to take more than five minutes for your search. Plan to, gee, I hate to say it because it's going to scare some of you, but it, it could take an hour. It could take two hours. I'm not telling you to stay up all night, but you're doing a thorough search of your house, um, bit by bit to make sure that there's no chametz lying anywhere in your house. And you're not looking for microscopic pieces, it's just a real search looking for if there's any pieces of chametz anywhere within reach of what people might get to. So for that, you're going to have to look under the couch, you're going to have to look behind the curtains, you're going to have to peek behind uh, that piece of furniture, you're not going to have to move the furniture, but you're going to look all over the house, and along the way you will find the ten pieces. And you know, I hope you weren't one of them, but there are people who just plan to make the search for four minutes. They just go to where the ten pieces are and say, boom, 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 got the ten pieces, we're done. Well, that's not a search for comments. That's uh, thing number one that I needed you to know about the search. Now, some other little ones. Some people like to wrap up their pieces of bread in a piece of tissue paper or something. The reason for that is you don't want the, the crummy, if it has crumbs, piece of bread to break apart and have residual chametz all over where you put the 10 pieces. So that's why some people wrap them in a piece of tissue paper so that when you find that piece, you find it and its crumbs and they go into the burning pile the next morning. Don't do it with plastic or silver foil stuff that's not gonna burn well, but you know, just something that you can throw right into the fire on Monday morning. Some people bring a feather with them as they do the search so they can just wipe away whatever crumbs were there. That's not so crazy. You just want to make sure that as you're doing your search, you're not leaving extra uh, chametz around from pieces that broke off. This next thing that I'm going to say is not really a law. It's a good idea that I want to suggest to you. You might want to take a, a notepad with you throughout the search so that you can just write down little things that you're noticing that you'll come back to and say, you like as you're doing the search, you might notice, oh my gosh, we didn't check this medicine cabinet for the few things of chametz that might be in here. So you make a little note to... Uh, come back to the medicine closet and tape it up or, or whatever it is that you're going to do. But as you go around the house, uh, say, oh, my gosh, this hand sanitizer, uh, I'm just going to have to check that there's no alcohol in it or little things like that. As you go through the search of your home, write down things that you're noticing that you might want to come back to. Don't know if you knew this, but you're not supposed to speak during the search. It's supposed to be just you and you, the searchers who are with you looking for comments around the house but you're not supposed to be schmoozing, you're supposed to be concentrating. If you need to talk about the search and say, uh, please uh, help me look under this couch, so sure, you can say that, that's part of the search. You don't have to use a candle. Even good big rabbis of today say that flashlights are acceptable, because let's face it, when you want to look under the couch, the flashlight works better than the candle, doesn't it? So uh, so you feel, feel uh, pretty okay using a flashlight, uh, that's totally fine. And you want to be traditional and use the candle also, fine. Just keep it away from the drapes on the couch because we want everything to stay safe. And make certain that you put that bag away properly at the end of the search so that you'll know where to find it Monday morning to take it to the chametz burning. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.